let's talk about this past six months. Uh, you you got into it. You joined the team. You joined here at the brokerage. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to hang out with Miss Fun Susan Ebert over here. But then he disappeared. Mm. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know about so this part. I'm like, where's Dakota? So, yeah, so t July 2019, I, I disappeared until basically a year later, uh -huh. almost exactly a year later, because I was trying to do real estate part-time and not full-time and not giving it the time it deserves, thinking that I can, like like I was saying, like all these YouTube people say, you can do it when you get off work and do that. And yeah. hey, I'll, I'll, I'll give it up to the people that make it happen, man, honestly. The ones that make it happen, that's cool, but it... The reality of it is like if you aren't committed full time like it's just not going to work and that yeah. that was the thing i couldn't just i couldn't get the wheels rolling right. i couldn't i couldn't make it work and um and then once COVID hit you know quite cool i where i was promised a job where i was promised a career for forever we're going to retire out of here you know like that kind of situation it felt like that that was gone all of a sudden it was like hey unfortunately we have to make the business move and you've been here a long time and they, you know, it's, it's, doll it's dollars and cents at the end of the day. And sorry, bro, but you got to go. Yeah. And, uh, lucky for me, I got blessed enough that, uh, mm -hmm. that stimulus came out, you know, yeah. I'm an unashamed stimulus baby right now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people were upset about that when it went down and everybody's like, stimulus baby. <laughs> everybody's Ooh. like, what do you mean you're making that much money to stay home? I'm like all my tax dollars are going there and blah, blah, blah. Hey, yeah, unashamed, man. Like that was, I paid a lot of money into that unemployment for a long time. And when it came back to me, I just want to set the record clear though. I didn't sit around. Okay. I literally talked to, I probably sat around for a month or two and then. I turned and, and then I talked to uh, once I found out that I could technically if as long as I don't show profit, I can work, you know, but the second I show profit, then I have to get off of it. Um, and that was my tax person that told me that. And uh, uh, but yeah, so I talked to you and uh, I said, hey, what teams are hiring? What's up? Like, I need to get on a team. I need to figure this out. Um, got plugged in with I talked to Jimmy Mochi. I talked to Justin Bringus. I talked to everybody. And uh and Justin and Andrew just clicked, man. And so when I started working with them, dude, I mean, they had me start dialing right off the bat. Boom. I saw him every day. Yeah. I'm like, look, you're at work. Oh my God, you're at work. It was amazing. Every day. Every day. It's so crazy. <laughs> so from day one until you actually got an apple from the tree, how long did that take you? From when you started July, the, so, so it when took you me thirty from days. The team and then got mm -hmm. a deal. It yeah. took me. It took me thirty days. That's yeah. that's incredibly fast, actually. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it took, yeah. but it was. But you you put in that work though to make that happen. I put in mad work. Yeah. I was like, I was the guy that was trying. I was trying to make a hundred calls a day. You know what I mean? I was like, dude, we got to do this. And Justin was like, but if you make a hundred calls a day to nobody, you're wasting your time. Like, let me help you and guide you a little bit and show you what's up you know, and show you how to really start navigating this business. And um, it was good to have like that, that crazy work ethic, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and I still think it's good and I'm trying to get it back right now because I got super lazy, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> trying to get that back and generate that back. But uh, we, we had listed Payette um, and that house was amazing, beautiful pool in the backyard. And uh, it ended up selling like 100000 over asking, and we all jumped in the pool with suits on and stuff. I Great saw pictures. That. Yeah, oh, so that it? was your first deal? That was, no, 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 that was their first deal, but I got my first deal out of a fallout from, from that house. Oh, okay. So, because obviously we get a lot of buyer leads and stuff from that, and so I ended up picking up a client from that house and bounced them out to Riverside and ended up finding them a house over in Riverside. Wow. Yep. And so that was, that was a really, that was actually a really, really cool experience but yeah. yeah that was my first one then right there it was so three or four months on the unemployment and then i got off it because i started making money <laughs> and then uh the in-laws needed the the in-laws needed to sell their place all of a sudden because now i'm making money so boom we listed their house and then had another buddy who needed to list his house because now i'm the guy you know and it's like that momentum you know it starts picking up yeah and, and that's what it seems like for the agents that have a hard time getting off the ground, but if you can get one or two deals and then get on top of that surfboard and on that wave and flow with that momentum, it just starts to 
mm. really starts to come in. So yeah. you're a living testament to that. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And I had some good ones. I even had to deal with you for a second. Yeah. Yeah. I gave you grace, man. I was trying, I know, to, I was trying man. to keep it together. I know. I know. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> dude. Like, <laughs> it's like, dude, I want to be on your podcast. Don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gracious man. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. In a market where it felt like everything was a sure thing, it was. It was and, very weird and that and that was, listing that you had yeah. it yeah. still hasn't sold. Uh, it's it's like, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's, fine. it's it's been about delayed. To. Yeah, it's been delayed, yeah. and now we're finally getting there. And so, yeah. but I mean, we were able. To, yeah, I was able to at least salvage that too. So it was cool. You know, we did that. Sold a piece of land. I sold the houses. 